Hello, today we're going to talk about Georgia Judicial Branch. The Judicial Branch's power is established by the Georgia Constitution. Uh, there are seven courts in total. There are five trial courts and two appellate courts that we're going to talk about. Uh, there's over 400 uh, local courts, and it also has this thing called the Judicial Council. That's a state-level agency. The Judicial Council administers the court systems throughout through policy development. There are 24 reps of trial and appellate courts. And the administrative office of the courts, or the AOC, provides administrative staff for the council. The administrative office of the courts, the AOC, provides administrative staff for the council. And the Supreme Court has a final say in the matters pertaining to the constitutionality of laws and ordinance. That's that one right there. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, trial courts. You have the Superior Court. Uh... This deals with felonies, divorce, and property disputes. All right, judge has to be 30 years old, a citizen of Georgia for three years, and seven years as a lawyer. All right. You need that for one of the answers. So the state court, misdemeanor violations. I'm gonna spell that wrong. Such as traffic violations or, and they issue warrants. I know my handwriting is amazing. That's why I always stay on the other side because writing this way is really hard for me. Uh, the judge has to be 25 years old, citizen of Georgia for three years, and seven years a lawyer. I'm going to switch to a different color because that start to look super sloppy. Which I don't mind looking not somewhat sloppy, but that looks really bad. All right, so the probate court, uh, probation of wills. Uh, deals with estates and guardianship. Those judges have to be 25 years old, a high school graduate, and reside in the county for two years. So it says it differs between the counties it's in, but there's a chance they never had to practice law to be a probate court. Uh, juvenile court. Uh, deals with delinquent children and depraved children under 18, uh, custody and child support, and you have to reside in Georgia for three years, practice law for five. Five-year lawyer, and deals with basically children under 18. All right. And the last one is the magistrate court and that says it deals with misdemeanors also so bad checks violating county ordinance civil claims less than fifteen thousand dollars all right now we move over to the appellate court all right so the court of appeals of georgia has jurisdiction over appeals from uh, superior state juvenile courts it has 12 judges so they deal with basically all the appeals of all these courts when you have them. And the Supreme Court has exclusive jurisdiction over cases involving constitutionality of laws and ordinance. So just like the Supreme Court of the United States, this one deals with laws of the con laws and whether they're constitutional or not. All right, this has been a very, 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 very brief introduction to the Georgia Judicial Branch. You actually need to know a little bit more information about this, but this is just how it's broken down for you in the lesson. So you need to know this for the lesson, but you actually need to know a little bit more information. So, sorry, good luck.